Hi, Melissa Jones friends. Mrs. Reed here, coming to you with another read aloud for today. I chose Clark the Shark, Afraid of the Dark. Oh. So, as usual, find your snuggly reading spot. This is another favorite reading spot of mine in my living room. So get snuggly and get ready. Clark the Shark looked over his list. Balloons. Check. Games. Check. Check snacks. Ooh. Double check. Everything was ready for Clark's first sleepover. Everything but Clark himself. It was Clark's first time sleeping outside without his glowfish nightlight, but he told himself that he'd be as fine as featherfish fins. Just to be sure, Clark made a little rhyme. Take heart, be smart. Sharks aren't afraid of the dark. But deep down, he wasn't sure at all. The sun sank low, the shadows stretched. Here came his friends, brave fishes, every one. Clark decided to keep his sharky mouth shut because if they weren't afraid, then neither was he. Clark and his friends played hula hoops and Clark was the hoopiest of all. Hee <laughs> look at me, he cried. They sang karaoke and Clark was the loudest of all. They played freeze dance, our favorite at school. They played freeze dance and Clark was the wildest of all. Big bonk, da ba ba da bonk. Oh, that's Calvin. <laughs> Too much sugar, Clark's mother wondered. Finally, she sent everyone outside. It was dark, it was scary. To keep up his courage, Clark whispered his little rhyme. Take heart, be smart. Sharks aren't afraid of the dark. He didn't want to be the only one who got spooked. He does look a little spooked though, doesn't he? Hi. Let's tell ghost stories, said Benny Blowfish, and everyone looked at one another. They weren't afraid, not them. They told the tale of the one-eyed sea monster and the crazy sailor and the one-hooked-handed octopus. And by the time they finished, everyone was shivery. Blowfish looks really shivery. Something moved over there, cried Amanda Eelwiggle. The crazy sailor. Ah! Everyone screamed. It's only driftwood, said Joey Mackerel. Clark tried to relax. Then. What's that? cried Kenny Ahi, the one-eyed sea monster. Ah! Everyone screamed. <laughs> I want to make sure you can see the pictures. Yes, you too, Calvin. Settle down and go to sleep, said Clark's mother, or I'm calling your parents. No, we'll be good, cried Clark. Everyone tried to relax. I wasn't scared, said Kenny. Me neither, said Clark. Us neither, said everyone else but no one could sleep. Then, I felt a ripple, said, cried Joey. Something's coming. Ah! Everyone screamed. The hook-handed octopus. 
but it was only a clump of seaweed. I wasn't scared, said Joey. Me neither, said Clark. Us neither, said everybody else. The friends decided to sleep in a circle and not, not to be safer, but just to be cozier. It was dark. It was spooky. The night was full of sounds, so Clark whispered his little rhyme. Take heart, be smart. Sharks aren't afraid of the dark. What'd you say? asked Joey. Oh, just a little rhyme, said Clark. Joey gulped. Are you afraid of the dark? Clark bit his lip. Would Joey make fun of him? In a very small voice, Clark whispered, Just a little bit. Me too, whispered Joey. Us too, whispered everybody else. So how do we not be afraid? Asked Joey. Everyone thought hard. Clark got a big idea in his sharky head. Let's make up a rhyme together. Brilliant, said Benny Blowfish. Can we put it to music? So they did. And when they finished, everyone sang. Take heart, be smart. Don't be afraid of the dark. No fear. It's clear. Fear is the scariest part. Remind your mind. Kick out the fear from the start. You'll find you're fine. You're not afraid of the dark. Ew, no, we're not afraid. We're not afraid of the dark. Nice job on their part. I like that they got together and they solved their problem and they were all being considerate. One by one, they fell asleep, humming the tune, Clark last of all. And as they dreamed brave dreams, the moon smiled down through the depths of the night ocean. They look very snugly. I hope you enjoyed today's story, everybody, and I'll see you next time.